All right, time to talk through installation and environments. Let's get set up for success. If you've already installed 51, feel free to skip this part and move on to the next section. Some quick prerequisites. Before we install 51, we need to have a working installation of Python. And in particular, we need to have Python 3.7 through 3.10. Those are the versions that 51 supports. You can check your Python version in your terminal by running Python dash dash version or Python 3 dash dash version, depending on your machine. Now, you can run 51 using your built-in Python installation, but we at Voxel 51 strongly recommend you using a virtual environment, either Conda or VNV. And we're going to show you how to do this with VNV. Here, we're going to walk you briefly through the process of getting set up with 51 in a virtual environment. The first thing you need to do is change into the directory where you want to install this virtual environment. So you can do that with the cd command in your terminal, cd and then the path that you want to move to. After that, you can run Python or Python 3, depending on your machine, dash m vn, the name of the environment. And then you can follow that with dot referring to your current directory and env slash bin slash activate. Once you've done that, you can install 51 with pip or pip3, install 51. You can also use a conda environment, but we're not going to walk through that process because you need to install conda or mini conda separately. If you want to install the standalone desktop app, you can do that as well with this slightly different command, pip or pip3 install, and then in quotation marks, 51 bracket desktop. Once you've done that, you can check that your installation was successful by opening a Python process with Python or Python 3, and then importing 51. We recommend using the alias fo to refer to 51, otherwise things can get a little bit cumbersome. So if you import 51 as fo, then you can print out fo with print fo. And if you get something and you don't get an error, it's likely that you did it the right way. In addition to 51, you may also want to install some of these extras. So depending on your particular use case, you may want to install notebooks like Jupyter Notebooks. You may want to install Torch or Torch Vision or TensorFlow, depending on which models you might want to work with. If you're working with videos, you may want to install FFmpeg. And for point clouds, Open3D. None of these are strictly necessary to start working with 51, but depending on your application, they might be useful.